Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. Now we're going to be joined by our second guest via Skype. We've been seeing lots of heavy rainfalls, not just in Lagos, but in different parts of Nigeria. And we need to find out how we can adequately prepare ourselves to ensure that we're, we're not flooded and we do not have natural emergencies upon our hands. Joining us to have this conversation is Mr. Desmond Majekodumi, an environmentalist extraordinaire. Thank you so much for joining us, sir. Welcome, sir. It is my pleasure to be with you guys. It yeah, is always a pleasure time. to have you. So, Mr. Desmond, I, I'm sure that you've been seeing the heavy rainfalls and the downpour that we've been experiencing in Lagos, Nigeria. Today, for example, we had heavy rainfall. Would you say that we're adequately prepared for the rainy season? Has the government and the necessary agencies started making enough plans to prevent us from having a flooding on our hands? Yeah, that's a very, very good question. Because the reality is, we are not prepared at all. We're not. Um, why aren't we prepared? Because the rain situation has changed very, very, very drastically. It's no longer what it used to be. What we mm. get now is what they call rain bombs. Rain bombs, yeah. That's like, um, it's a whole bunch of rain falling in a very, very short period of time. It's been recorded. Sometimes you can get a four weeks rain falling in just one day. And that's known as a rain bomb. And that kind of rainfall definitely inundates any kind of system that you would have in place, any kind of drainage system. Especially if those drainage are not that adequate anyway. So there's a huge challenge. And we should take this as a warning as a warning sign that, hey, you know, the rains came early, they'll stop for a while, but they're certainly coming back and they're gonna come back very, very intently. Okay, so sometime last week in um, um, Agbado in Lagos, actually, uh, Agbado actually in Lagos, we had things that seemed like snowballs falling down in Lagos and people actually said that was the first time it was happening in Lagos. Yes, we had seen things like that in just Plateau State, but not in Lagos. Are we saying that this can be related to the whole climate change um, situation we're having all around the world? Or is there something that we have to do to put that in check? Or is that just a normal natural occurrence in itself? <laughs> ah, it's a challenge. You see, the reality is that we as uh, homo sapiens, as human beings, we've been totally using Mother Nature. Nature is the ultimate mother. She gives us everything that we need for our survival. And all that she requires is that we respect her and maybe even nurture her a little bit. You know, the reality is that uh, if you tried uh, slapping your mama, <laughs> would, would, would you dare slap your mother? No, <laughs> not at all. Especially an African mother. Oh, ho! Oh. No. <laughs> You know how she's going to react. Yeah. And we as human beings, as homo sapiens, that's exactly what we've been doing to the ultimate mother nature. We've been slapping her hard. We've been abusing her, polluting her atmosphere so terribly. I mean, the amount of things that we put out into the atmosphere. Your last guest was talking quite eloquently about it. He was saying that, you know, the kind of modes of transport, the kind of modes of energy generation that we're using are toxic. And it's, it's, it's for real. You know, nobody in their right mind who lock themselves up in a room with a generator. We've had tragedies like that before, where people would, will, old families will just die out because they went into their room with the generator. And why would they die? Because when you burn fossil fuel, diesel when you burn petrol and even when you burn gas it gives off poison and millions and millions and millions of tons of these toxic gases have been emitted into the atmosphere for decades and decades and that's what's causing the global warming which okay. is causing the climate and it's a terrible slap against mother Nature. And we so couldn't even agree any, uh, anymore. You know, we, oh, yes. we totally agree with the fact that this is, we've not been kind to Mother Nature. We've not been fair to Mother Nature. But the question we are asking now is, how can we be better prepared for the rains? Now that we know we have a problem on our hands, you know, how can we be better prepared for, for the rains on the part of the people and on the part of the government? 
Absolutely. That's an essential question. On the part of the people and the government, the first preparation has to be in our minds. You know, we've got to come to the reality that we need to do the right things with nature. Stop abusing her. Otherwise, it's going to get a lot worse. The scientists are telling us very, very, very clearly that in international conferences, the World Meteorological Organization, International Panel for Climate Change, they have told us categorically that we have started a cycle that could get very, very catastrophic. But for the immediate, the immediate, the obvious thing is, hey, you know, the drains we have, stop fucking them with plastic. And as individuals, we should go around admonishing anybody. If you drop litter on the street, especially plastic litter, you should admonish that person, pick up your litter, yes, take it away, true. because it's going to end up in the drain, it's going to the drain. I, you know I what I mean? That it's is the actual plan problem. we should take away from this Very conversation correct. today. We will definitely be speaking with you again to be um, exploring other options that we need to do, but we must ensure that we do not clutter our gutters with plastic. Thank you so much, Mr. Desmond, for joining Thank us. Thank you so much. We look much. forward to speaking with you again. So the action plan that we must take away from this mm -hmm. is do not clutter, do not litter with plastic, and as much as possible, if you see anybody that drops a plastic bottle in the gutter, on the road, remember that you should caution them, make them feel embarrassed. You know, in the nicest way, tell them, you know, it's actually not nice for you to let True. drop that bottle there because what you're doing is you're setting us up for a destruction come the rains in a few weeks. To enjoy more of this, our will get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.